Hello, my wonderful scientists, and welcome now to a new unit for this science class. You will notice that everything here on your folder is now into your quarter one and two folder. So you will find everything from the body systems right here. Then you have your PBL project, which is also done or should be done by now. You have a new folder and that's um, the Southern California unit project. So basically, what is the Southern California unit project? Well, you are going to be learning about a different topic now. You're going to have a lot of hands-on projects, which if you already have or bought everything from the recommended list, you should have no issues. Now, if I click right here, you are going to see everything that we're doing for this um, unit. But we're going to start with the first part, and that is weather and climate. So let me go ahead and click. So you do have, you're going to have more information down here, but we are going to focus this week on what is weather and what is climate. Think about it as, um, as the, we start a new season. We just started spring. Then we are going to go into summer, then fall, and then winter. So would that be considered weather or would that be considered a climate? Why is it sunny some days and then the next day it's cloudy or it rains a little bit and then the sun is out what is all that is that weather or is that climate okay so we are going to be discussing this and you do have two different powerpoints along with a assignment now I'm going to go ahead and click on this weather versus climate and give you a short introduction. Okay, so how might you tell if it's warm or cold outside without checking the temperature, without even asking Google, hey Google, what's the temperature or what's the weather like outside? How would you know if it's cold or warm outside if you just, if you just look through the window? Okay, what kind of things do you do outside on a hot day? What about on a cold day? Think about it and go ahead and write it in your interactive notebook. How would you answer this? And again, there is a 10 minute timer for you just to go ahead and hold you accountable. Um, that way you could do your work. Now, we are going to have an angry question. And that is the question that we're going to try to answer towards the entire unit. And my question to you is, is it possible to drive through different climate zones in California all in one day? And why do climates vary so drastically in different parts of Southern California? For example, why is it snowy or there's snow up in the mountains but then you also have the beach so close by to LA or why is there why is there a desert close by why, why does the why is there different climate especially in southern california think about that because we need to know why we have those different climates and what actually makes climate okay now we do have a phenomena in initial model so i want you to think about probable causes which makes us experience different variety of climates in southern california what causes us to have this climate what causes us to live close to the snow okay think about it and again there's a 10 minute timer if you need to be timed and you are going to be doing this in class, but in case you have any internet connections, this is what we are covering in class. Now I'm going to show you a couple of pictures and I want you to look at this. And this here is a picture of climate long time scales. So when you look at this picture, what does it remind you of? Now, how about this?
So climate is what you expect. Okay, I want you to think about that. So for example, right here, you could see there's dinosaurs and then there's snow. Okay, these are pictures that represent climate. So you could actually think about it as something that you expect. For example, in summer, we already expect summer, which is in July, to be hot because every year in summer, the average weather is hot or humid. So climate depends on long-term processes. Here's another example. This here is a picture of what? The desert. So the desert is also a climate. The climate of a desert is humid or too dry, or, you know, you could see, um, the the floor you know the ground the soil this is the type of climate in the desert you also have rainy seasons or when you have for example um those rainy seasons in mexico well, for example in mexico i know it usually rains like in February or sometimes in August. So it depends on the climate, depends on the location. Or for example, right here, if you recognize this, this is San Francisco, the climate, usually it's always foggy over there. Now, what is weather? And I'm gonna show you some pictures. Weather is the shorter time scales. When you see thunderstorms, lightning, that's part of the weather. Snow, when it gets snow, when you get snow some days and then um, sometimes it changes, that all of that is weather. So weather is what you get. Like for example, a rainy afternoon. It's how the atmosphere is behaving like now. So it could be, for example, Oh, perfect, perfect um, example. When many of you were telling me, Mr. Romero, it's raining over here. And in my area, it was super sunny. And then 10 minutes later, the sun went away and then um, it was raining. And then there was hail and then the sun came out again. So it's very, very short. It changes. That's weather. Okay. So it's it's more of like okay um is it bright is it cloudy is it humid because humidity will change precipitation will change precipitation is actually rain okay the temperature when it changes if it keeps on changing then that's weather it's short term okay so here are some examples of a girl you know it's the sun's out but then it's raining so all of these could be very, very, very good examples of what is weather. Now, if you look at it, we are done with this presentation. Okay, and this is what I want you to think about. What is weather? What is climate? So as you could see, this was a presentation right here. You could always go back in there and look at this. We are going to be discussing this in a day in Southern California in the class. This is a short video that you could look at and it's going to get you thinking. Okay. Now for this second part, part two, we will be discussing this in class as a um, whole class. This will be done. Well, it would be done by Friday, but you're going to be following along with um, the slides. So when you click on this one, you're going to complete this slide and you're going to turn it in into Schoology. So for example, you're going to click on weather and climate and it's going to take you to the same presentation we will be discussing in class. Um, I apologize for the date right here, but um, this was in January back when we were in class. I'm going to go ahead and change this and I'm just going to put Miss Romero's class. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is, again, we're going to be reviewing the specific examples. We will be having some guiding questions. Again, we're going to be doing this in class. And we're going to do a KWL chart where you're going to be filling this information out. So what do you already know about weather? What do you already know about climate? 
then what do you want to know about weather what do you want to know about climate okay so we are going to be doing this in class then we're going to be uh, watching a short video on what weather and climate is we're going to add into our kwl chart and you're going to tell me two or three facts that you learned about the weather and climate so again you're going to be working on this as we are in class and you're going to do a little group assignment about weather and climate you're only going to have 20 minutes so if you are in group one you're going to be telling me what is weather and what is climate only using words no pictures no venn diagram no sentences no phrases nothing okay but if you are in group two then you're going to tell me what is weather and what is climate only through pictures okay you can't write anything you can't say anything you're only going to be putting pictures if you are in group three you're going to do a venn diagram and you're going to tell me the similarities and differences you know about weather and climate and if you are in group four then you're going to do a two column chart for example this one right here where you could give me the definitions of each with examples that is going to be your group activity ah but for slide a we do have a review it does tell you what is weather and what is climate just a little bit of review of what we learned in class and then there is some checking for understanding so for this one you are going to be reading each statement below and you're going to try and guess was it weather or was it climate so usually it is sunny in florida usually it is sunny in florida will that be weather or will that be climate if you say oh it's weather you're gonna put w or if you say uh -uh, it's climate then you're gonna put c okay next one number two this can change from day to day hmm what is it weather or climate so you're going to be putting your response you're going to be like oh it's weather because um it's short term or you know what i think it's climate because it's dated i don't know based on what you have learned in class what we discuss you're going to answer this okay and once you're done guess what you are going to submit we get it and then that would be it once i see it here i would check that you understood this and that would be it okay so again this would be due on wednesday no sorry this will be due on friday and it's right here friday april 16th and again we're going to be working on this in class so this is here for you and if you have any questions go ahead and reach out to me okay so that is it welcome to a new unit of weather and climate and basically we are going to learn why does the climate change so much or why do we have different climates in southern california have a good one enjoy i will see you soon bye